Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Miguel back again with another video. And you guys know how I mentioned in one of my previous videos that the iPhone 14 Max was at a risk of a delay. Well, that's not the only bad news that we had. We later on found out that there were some more issues with the production of the iPhone 14. And I'm talking about the complete lineup. This is not only specific to one phone. Now, according to reports, according to Ming-Chi Kuo, which is a reliable source, he mentioned that Apple is having some QC issues, which means that the iPhone 14 lineup is having an issue with the back protective lens over the camera and apparently they seem to be cracking or breaking or, or scratching up quite a lot now keep in mind this is just less than two months away from us actually having these devices in hand and this, these are last minute updates that we're getting on the production of the iphone 14 and this means that either one of two things is going to happen so we're either going to have a complete lineup delay which means that all of the iphones are going to be delayed or they're going to be launched as usual, but then we're going to have a complete new Apple gate issue similar to one that we had with the iPhone 6 when it was bending. Ming Chi Kuo also reported that Apple has shipped 10 million units of the iPhone 14 to another provider and it looks like we may actually be on time. And Ming Chi Kuo also mentioned that there's no really need to panic, but he also mentioned the same thing about the iPhone 14 Max displays. And now we know that they're actually going to be delayed for maybe even a month or more. So it's not really certain whether we'll be having these devices on time or if they're launched on time, maybe they're gonna be shipped late. It's really uncertain at this time. And as I mentioned, this is just two months or less than two months before we actually see the iPhones in hand. And that's not only it. We have more bad news or I'm gonna call it weird news because this was a really weird news report. Now, we all know that the Apple Watch Series 8 is also going to be launched alongside the iPhone 14 and maybe you've heard rumors about a completely new redesign of the Apple Watch Series 8 and last year we had we almost everyone almost all of us Mark Gurman, uh, Ming Chi Kuo everyone had reported that we were going to have a flat edge design Apple Watch Series 7 because it was the trend I mean we had the iPhone 12 flat we had the iPhone 13 flat my girlfriend was flat and we also had the <laughs> We also had the iPad um, come in a flat design. So it was kind of a pattern and we all predicted that this was going to be the new design of the Apple Watch. But uh, Apple took us by surprise and we didn't see a redesigned Apple Watch. We in fact saw the same uh, rounded uh, or rectangular rounded, whatever you want to call it, shape design with the Apple Watch with a slightly bigger screen, which was a little bit disappointing to say the least. Now this year, if you guys are not up to date, we have four versions of the Apple Watch. So we're gonna have the Apple Watch SE. We're gonna have two versions of the Series 8, so the regular and then the bigger size one. And we're gonna have the new rugged edition of the Apple Watch, which is rumored to be the one that has the titanium body and has a bigger battery life and has a better, more shatterproof screen. And they're now calling it the Apple Watch Pro, or the Series 8 Pro. And that Pro name is a guarantee that this is gonna cost you $1,000. Now, having said that, Mark Goodman mentioned that this is the first time, the first true redesign since the Apple Watch Series 4, which, which makes me think there was never a redesign. I mean, what is he talking about? And uh, this is what he quoted. Let me, let, me, let me mention to you what he actually quoted. Now he mentioned, it will apparently not be circular and contrary to reports of a squared off design, it also won't have the rumored flat sides. German described the new design as being an evolution of the current rectangular shape. At the end, he also added that the upcoming Apple Watch release is shaping up to be one of the company's more exciting product launches this year. Now let's have a minute of silence for that because no, uh, I mean, what does that even mean? I mean, it's gonna be flat. It's not gonna be flat. It's gonna be circular. It's not gonna be circular. Isn't that what we already have right now? So it, it kind of is, is weird news. So again, it's, it, we're just in the middle of nowhere. We don't know what is gonna happen, but it, it tells me that we're really not gonna be seeing much of a redesign. We're gonna just have a more expensive Apple Watch with slightly bigger battery and a 7% bigger display, which I don't know if a lot of people will actually appeal to that. A lot of people love the current uh, sizes that we have. So I really don't know whether a lot of people will actually be interested in paying a thousand dollars 
for a slightly bigger Apple Watch. Yeah. Now, last but not least, we actually have some good news, finally. So, you guys know how iOS beta 4.16 version, whatever you guys want to call it, is actually released right now. And there were rumors that uh, the always-on display was going to be something that we're going to be seeing with the iPhone 14 lineup. And this beta version actually confirmed it. So, 9 to 5 Mac went digging, uh, like they always do. And they actually found that uh, Apple is going to have their own version of the always on display. So normally an always on display usually has um, a blank screen and it has some widgets of your choice. So you can have the, the clock or the watch and the weather temperature, whatever you guys want to have on top of that. And that's pretty much it. But this time, according to 9 to 5 Mac, the complete wallpaper will actually dim. So you're not just going to have a blank display with some widgets. You're actually going to have the full wallpaper which is going to slightly dim and is going to show as an always on display and i'll put in a picture or an image or a gif or a gif whatever you want to call it of how that's actually going to look like so yeah that's that's pretty much it guys and uh, let me know what you think let me know what uh, you think about the apple watch let me know what you think about the upcoming iphone 14 and uh, thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out